Today's menu at Jabez Kitchen will be lamb shank. And Filipinos are afraid of lamb shank because, uh, of course, we don't have a menu, Filipino menu for lamb shank. Sometimes we use uh, lamb shank or we do adobo or uh, caldereta. But today, we're going to do Mediterranean style lamb shank. We'll brace the uh, lamb shank and I'll show you how to do it. Again, welcome to Jabez Kitchen. And if you are a first timer, please don't forget, subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment and send your uh, request. And I'll make sure that we will do it for you, of course. Again, shout it out for all my subscribers, especially those who are in States and in the Philippines. Thank you so much. Now, let's go in cooking. Okay, so these are the ingredients that we need to uh, do braised lamb shanks. Okay, of course, lamb shank itself. Look at it, so big, right? So these are chunk of meat of lamb. So I have two lamb shank here. And what we're gonna do is, of course, we need the uh, black pepper, salt, here, potato and the carrot, right? Saffron water, minced garlic, and we have some herbs here, parsley and thyme, which is, they're good for the uh, taste. We have tomato, of course, onion, and I have fresh oregano here from my fresh uh, I took it from the uh, plant that I have, like I showed you before, and these are spring onions, which I just cut it off from here. For other uh, ingredients, we have bay leaf, chili powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of cinnamon, of course, star anise, one tablespoon of turmeric powder, and pepper. All right, so first thing what we need to do is let's turn on the stove get a frying pan let it be heated and let's put some black pepper on this beautiful lamb shanks with regards to lamb shank this requires a lot of cooking time so I suggest if you're going to do lamb shank you're not hungry all right because this will take at least minimum of four hours all right uh, but that will be it will be lesson if you have a pressure cooker so uh, maybe today we'll just do at least three hours because I will use my pressure cooker okay let's go here so let's check if this is hot. Alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'll put the uh, olive oil. Oh, there you go. It's hot. So let's put these two baby here. Oh. And let it get golden brown so now that the uh, lamb shank is golden brown let's put the uh, 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 stove on medium heat and let's transfer it to our pressure cooker Now next thing to do is we're going to saute garlic, onion, oh nice, smells good, and we'll add the tomato. Okay, so the next thing we will do, of course, we'll transfer this into the pressure cooker where the lamb shank is, okay? So, we put the lamb shank 
for the pressure cooker here with the lamp shank and transfer this. Now we we'll remove the water from this and we'll put this inside also. There we go. Then we'll put the uh, saffron water. All these uh, ingredients, we'll put them now. As well as our herbs. This is just for the space, guys. Alright. And I forgot to mention a while ago that we need at least four cups of water. Right? So this is how much it is. Then pour it inside the pressure cooker. There you go. Cover the lid. Make sure that your uh, stove is on number two so that we can simmer this for three hours. All right, so all the ingredients will go inside the uh, lamb shack, I should say. All right, so see you later. Okay, guys, after three hours, let's check the uh, lamb shank so turn off the oven right let's open it make sure that it's not going to burst oh wow so this is oh my gosh look at that how soft it is right and let's now taste the broth Oh, superb! Mm. Tastes like a Mediterranean one. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it and I'll show you the finished product. Okay? So, here's the finished product of our lamb shack Mediterranean style. So, I'll just prove it to you that it's already soft. Ooh right? Nice. and tasty okay i hope this inspires you to cook anything that comes in your mind so please don't forget subscribe like leave a comment and of course leave your or send me your request as well thank you so much and also follow us in facebook don't forget thank you